Wait. Good. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, Okay, I'm running uh, G25 motors in this uh, RCX15. They're a uh, moon burner, which means the core is offset so that it gives a, a high peak and then a regressive burn. Um, for these, since I'm not using a delay element, I wanted to make the cleanup a little easier and I didn't have to load as many parts. Uh, so I have a plugged closure, but the plug on the 29 still has the empty reservoir for delay tracking. So what I've done is fill that reservoir with the JB Weld and then I've taken a uh, stainless steel washer that I've turned to be the exact same diameter and uh, put a little screw in through the JB Weld to hold that washer in place with the idea now that that washer supports the o-ring that the little delay element would have done since the delay element sticks out a little bit. It centers it and then it makes it easier to clean up and the JB Weld doesn't get eroded by the heat because it's got the washer here. Um, and this seems to be working fairly well. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is the casing for the G25. This is a uh, 29120 length casing. Um, here's the propellant. You can see the offset hole. The more open end is the part that goes on the nozzle end. This one just has the small opening. So I'm just going to insert that into the case. I've already uh, lubed the case and the O-rings and the uh, end closures. And then on the front end, you put the fiber washer and the thicker O-ring. And then you put the uh, forward closure in place. And then on the back end, you put the nozzle and the skinny o ring. Make sure it looks pretty centered. And then you screw it together. Put it, wipe it off, and that's it. That's ready to go. Um, on these uh, moon burners, um, sometimes the uh, igniter can be a little hard to get in and you might need to uh, put the igniter in through the nozzle up into the grain first because it, sometimes it doesn't want to angle in the right way. Okay. Five.